Hello, everyone. Reading from Exo Travel Myanmar. I'm Shui from Product Team. Today, I'd like to present Southern part of Myanmar and the Amakwi Archipelago. So, firstly, I'd like to greet as Mingalaba. I'm very happy to share Myanmar product information. So first step with the overall uh, Myanmar bid fight information. So uh, all of you are familiar with Myanmar bid fight destination, Yango, Bagan, Mandalay, Hinley, and Nabali Beach. So apart from these bid fight destination, so this time I'd like to introduce Southern Myanmar and the Magui Archipelago. So the unique selling point of this region is the authentic and lesser known destination. And the people from that area are very smiling people and also the great ethnic diversity, especially Hmong Karen and also the Sea Gypsy. And they, they also have unique culture. By visiting that area, you, you and your guests can learn life near the Salian River and also the Dawa Peninsula and Makwi Archipelago. Your guests can also learn diverse culinary experience. You can also learn that the country where you can find the spiritual peacefulness. And also this region are photogenetic sites. They also have the authentic beat and also the Anspoi Island in Magui area. That area is also safe and also the family friendly area. So uh, I'd like to share about the, how to get this area and the logistic information. So from Yangon, you can go uh, by land from, from Yangon, you can go Bago and it stay about one, one to two hour according the uh, traffic situation and also you can as per my uh, map so start from Yango and then Bago, uh, uh, Molamiai and then Dawe, Nye and Kota. So from Yango you can get Bago, uh, uh, Taitio, Golden Rock and Molamiai and Dawe but the area between Dawe and Nye is slightly Far, so you, you and your guests can also can visit this uh, can go that area by car or by flight. So uh, by the other transportation, your guests can take train from Yangon to Bago or Yangon to Chaichiu. It takes from Yangon to Bago is just two hours and Yangon to Chaichiu is 4.5 hours. So by air you can your guests can visit, go from Zhengong, Dawe, Nye, Kotan, and the flying hour is not very long, just around one hour for Yangon to Dawe. So Yangon to Nye is 1.25 hours. Zhengong to Kotan is around two hours. Between the Dawe and Kotan is very long distance driving hour. So for that reason, we usually suggest our guests to take a flight. And then I'd like to share about the how to connect this area with the Thailand and other country, especially Thailand. So from Thailand, your guests can enter from Myawari Mae South border by land. From Myawari to Pan is just four hour drive. The next is the Kotao region. So Kotao, uh, your guests can enter from renowned Kotao by boat. It's take about one hour. So your guests can connect with Bengal or Phuket. Although there is another border near the way, but that border checkpoint Tiki and uh, Kunaron is not open yet. So once the government allow, so your guests can enter from Dawei. 
Firstly, so I would like to introduce Bago. Bago is the capital of Mon Kingdom in 15th century. That area is the highlight historical and Buddhist monument are the highlights of Bago. And Bago is the nice place to explore the local life and also the photography tour. Bago is from Yangon, it takes about one to two hours. So, and from Bago, Hudanro is just about two hours. And from Bago, Pan to Malanyai is, Pan or Malanyai is just four hour drive. So, Bago is a great spot to make a quick stop or uh, just uh, overnight to make uh, your, your gas fit uh, flow better. So as an attraction, so the top attraction of Bago are Shri Dalian Boulder image. The 55 meter long reclining boulders uh, rediscover uh, in a janka in 1880s. The restoration began in 1881 and the Moses below from the under the head of the Boda is really amazing. And also the the area near that pagoda area is also interesting and a uh, very photogenic site for your guests. The next interesting site is the war cemetery. So that cemetery is the beautiful landscape and peaceful area. So you, your guests can visit on the way to Bago or when they back from the, uh, once they have done sightseeing in Bago, so they can enter. But uh, they, they are not allowed uh, uh, after 4 p.m. So it is better to visit that area uh, when they go to Bago from Yangon. The next is the Taipong Pagoda. The Pagoda is the four seated Pagoda and sitting back to the four direction. That, uh, that Pagoda is also very famous uh, among the photographer. So your guests can visit Taipong Pagoda on the way to Bago or once they back to Yangon. The next attraction is the Sri Mordo Pagoda. It is the important religious monument in Bago. This golden temple uh, is a uh, 114 meter tall and it's higher than the Sri Dago Pagoda from Yangon. So it can be seen the, from the outside of the city uh, People can see Sri Mordor Pagoda. The next interesting site is the Kamosa Dadi Palace. The original palace uh, was built in 1599, but it was reconstructed in 1990 and it's finished in 1992. But that uh, palace area is uh, famous, uh, especially for the Thai people. The next interesting site is uh, very close to the Sri Dalian Pagoda. It is the Mon Weaving Village. So that area is the small quarter, uh, local quarter, uh, but uh, all of the, almost all of the villagers, they are their living by uh, weaving. And your guests uh, can learn the beautiful pattern uh, of the, the weaving guest time. After the sightseeing area in Bako, I would like to share about the accommodation information. So the first one is the Bule in Villa. It is a three-star uh, category. So we recommend uh, this be a uh, hotel for the FIT and luxury guests. There are altogether 12 rooms in four villas. So that Bule in Villa is situated outside of Bago, near the uh, golf course. There is also a pool and uh, the good point for, of Bula and Villa is that there is a pool and also the quiet location and uh, the, for, for the guests who want to get the quiet uh, atmosphere and who want to take relax, so this hotel is suitable for them. The next is the Camosa Hinda, it is the two-star option. So, this hotel is suitable for the FIT guests and also the mini group. The total room number is 27 room, 
the, it's situated in off the main road, uh, like among the small village area. So there is also a school uh, and also the, uh, we can see as small nice property. So for that, for, that's why we recommend for an IT and mini group. The next is the uh, two star option, famous hotel. It's suitable for the FIT and group. Altogether 42 room. It is situated in outside of city. There is also a pool and uh, this order is better value for men. Normally, our guests, they don't overnight in Baku. They just do direct and visit from Yango or just short break on the way to Molanin or Pan. The next interesting site I'd like to introduce you is Moyunji Wetland. This wildlife sanctuary is, uh, this uh, Moyunji Wetland is designated as the wildlife sanctuary in 1988. And it's covered 40 square miles. This wetland area is the permanent resident for the uh, 55 bat species and also the migratory stock for the millions of bat around 70 species in winter season from the Euro country. It takes 2.5 hour drive from Yango and it is uh, situated between uh, the Yango and the Go, uh, but different route. So uh, from Yango, it takes 2.5 hour and from Bago, it, it takes just only 45 minutes. So your guests can visit that area as day return or overnight stay. This place is very great spot for the bird watching guests, especially for the sunset and sunrise. So for the guests who want to do bird watching, we recommend to stay overnight there. There, there, there is only one hotel there uh, in that area uh, with 10 standard boat house and the bungalow. The boat ride in Moyenji Wetland is probably the, the best suitable option for the best suitable option for the sub adventure guests. Next, I'd like to introduce the Chai Chiyo. That's, it is well known as the Golden Rock. It is a huge boulder covered by gold leaf. It's balanced on the edge of a cliff. So it takes four hour drive from Yango to base camp. Your guests can also go Golden Rock, uh, that uh, Chai Chiyo area by train. So once they get Chai Chou station, so they have to take uh, 20 minutes, uh, take a car, it takes about 20 minutes a drive to get a base scan of the Golden Rock. So to get the nearest place of the Golden Rock, your guests necessary to take open air track along the winning road. It takes about 45 minutes. So where you draw off uh, your, your, it's just five minutes walk to get the golden rock. Now a cable car running up and down from the big head to the head dock. When your guests, if your, your guests take cable car, so they, and when they get the, uh, the head dock, they have to, uh, it takes about the, the cable car, is, it takes about 10, 10 to 15 minutes rides. So for the guests, uh, who want to do hiking. So it is possible to hike to the top of the mountain. From the base camp to the top of the mountain, it takes about five hours. And it really depends on the fitness level. And uh, we, we should recommend this option for the very fit clients. So we offer Golden Rock as one night stop trip from Yango or we, uh, we can combine uh, it with the Pan or Malanyan trip. 
So Golden Rule is the Myanmar's main programming site. So we like to suggest to avoid offering that area in major public holiday in Myanmar. So you can check your you can check with your travel consultant to avoid that situation. And we don't recommend also uh, offering in golden raw in green season. And the next we would like to recommend is your guests to pack a day back for this uh, one night stop at golden raw to avoid carrying big luggage. For the accommodation in Golden Rock, we recommend two hotels. The first one is the Mountain Dog Hotel, and the second is the Golden Rock. The Mountain Dog is situated uh, in the nearest place of the Golden Rock. Both of, both of the hotels are three star options. So, Mountain Dog Hotel has altogether 51 the legs long. Mountain Town is the best option for the guests uh, because it takes a, a five minutes walk from the road. And also from the hotel, your guests can enjoy the great view of the surrounding area. For the Golden Rock Hotel, all together, there are all together 44 deluxe from, but to get the Golden Rock, it is necessary to walk up here 45 minutes. So it is not a, not a great idea for the senior citizen of the mobility in the clients. So I'd like to suggest uh, to at least know down about the checkout time of the these two hotel. The checkout time of these two hotel is 9 a.m. It's very early. The next destination is Molinin. It's the capital of the Mon State and The Mongol and Po'o people are staying there. Before it was established in Yango, Molanyang was the first British capital of Lower Burma. So it's, uh, to get from Yango, it takes about six hours. Train is also a very bad, very bending. So we don't recommend train trip uh, for the senior citizen and also uh, the, the client. Uh, who has a problem uh, with that pain. So we recommend to stay one to two nights at the Molanyang. The best time to visit Molanyang is winter season. April to September is the green season in Myanmar and some area are very limited visit. Molanyang is unique for its border the religious monument, church, and monastery. So the top attraction of the Molinian is the Connaught Monastery. It is situated on the way uh, between the Molinian and Connaught. So your guests can visit Connaught Monastery by boat or by car. This monastery is very beautiful wood carving. Uh, it was built a century ago by a villager, Mon, Vill Mon villager named as Unaha. He was very famed for these days for his wealth and also the generous city. The next I'd like to suggest is the Chaitanya Magoda. Thailand is the city landmark of Molanyang, and it is said to be uh, the uh, the Kipling Road road to Mandalay Point uh, at that area. The next site I like to suggest is the Queen Saint Monastery. It is also known as Yelanabo Mian Monastery. Uh, it's uh, hundred years old and famous for the, the wood carving and the raya design because this pagoda was founded by the Queen Saindo of Queen Saindo of the King Mindo, 
who had flee from Mandalay at the time uh, that Myanmar last King Thibaw, the son of the King Mindo, took power. Until now, our guests can see the picture of the Queen Saido and also the wood gathering. The, the whole monastery is looked like the small palace because the architecture copy design from the Mandalay Palace. So for the guests who want to learn the Raya architecture and design, so that Queen St. Monastery is the best place. The next attraction is the church. And I don't want to mention uh, again. So the next is the Shambu Island. So Shambu Island is called in Myanmar, uh, in Mon language, is called Takopon Zalai. So this island is uh, sit at the confluence of five river meet, meet and Mon can use uh, this uh, islands for the ceremony, the Shambhuri ceremony in the water festival period. The next is the Pilujun. It's famous for the village associated with the production of the various handicraft and household items. So in the picture, you can see the rubber band making. The next attraction i like to suggest in Mangya area is the Winsei Doya. It is the world's largest reclining boulder. It takes about 30 minutes drive from Mangya and your guests can visit the World largest reclining boulder. The next is the Dead River. It is famous by the book and movie Bridge Over the River Green. So, in time to say, yeah, it's the study point of the Dead River. There is also a war cemetery near and also the museum. The next attraction point is the Strand Road. Malamia River Frank is the quite beautiful, but, uh, but uh, when it is low tide and the water is, uh, that there is a pool of cabbage, but high tide is beautiful. A huge uh, sidewalk is, Offer, can offer a great opportunity to see the sunset and also the, to enjoy the few restaurants along the way. For accommodation in Molanyang. So the first I would like to suggest is the Molanyang Strand Hotel. This two-star hotel, we recommend this hotel for the FIT and group. They are all together, 50 on the last room. It is situated in Strand Road. The location is nice, but from uh, that their walk, walkway is uh, facing to the river bank. So your guests cannot enjoy the river view from their room directly. So differ from the Molanyai Strand Hotel, Muimu and Hotel Sugati. Your guests can enjoy the river view from these two hotels. They can get the rear river view. So Wimo Hotel is the two-star hotel, and we recommend this hotel for the FIT and group. They are all together 55 room. It is situated in Strand Road. The view from that hotel is amazing. For the luxury guests and who want to get the poster option, we like to suggest Hotel Sukiti. This order is the property of the memory school. So this order is suitable for FID group and luxury guests. They are all together 72 room. But the room space is a little bit small so your guests cannot get extra bad. 
so they don't allow extra bed, putting extra bed. Apart from this, these bed, the rest, good point are new hotter. The view is amazing and location is situated in Strand Road. The service and the service standard is height, same as the memory school properties. For the maze in Bago, Taitio, and Malanyai, there are many local restaurants there. So your guests can, they can have Myanmar, Thai, Chinese menu. Golden Rock, we recommend to treat your guests at the hotel. So the next destination I'd like to suggest is Pan. Pan is the capital of the current state. So current, uh, current state is the current people are major ethnic group in that area. So from Yangon, by car or bus, it takes about six hours. There are many interesting sites in Pan'an. So we recommend to overnight two to three nights there. The climate situation is same as Molamyan. So in, from April to September, some, uh, due to the heavy rain, so the sun sizing area will be limited visit. So we do not recommend in green season. Pan is unit for the, the limestone mountain and also the cave. Uh, for the adventure guests, soft adventure guests, so Mount Zuckerberg and Mount Papu is the, the best place for the hiking. So in, in Pan, Zuckerberg and the Lomini Garden is the landmark of Pan. So, so that area, uh, the Lomini Gardens, uh, that area for the five minutes uh, is enough for the normal sightseeing. Uh, if your guests were uh, climb so to Mount Swagabin, so all together three hours, it, it will take three hours for the round trip. So uh, the, your guests uh, need to be good physical condition. We like to suggest uh, for the hiking, uh, we like to suggest in the morning part. Afternoon is okay, but so after 4 p.m. is not suitable for them because it's getting dark and uh, it's not suitable for them and risky for them. From November, between November and March is the best time for this hiking activity. The next is the Southern Cave. It's famous for the East Limestone Cave and the Secret Lake at the end. So your guests can take boat trip after visiting Limestone Cave. So it takes about one hour for the, the whole, uh, for the boat trip and also the visiting in Limestone Cave. The, as a location, it's 45 minutes drive from the city center. In green season, water level is high, so your guests cannot take a boat trip. So if they want to take boat trip, November to March is the only available. The next site is the Kokon Cave. It is famous for the mini clay border. It's carved out of the limestone in seventh century. So visiting time to that area is 20 to 30 minutes. So your guests can visit morning or afternoon. It is 15 minutes drive from the city center. 
and your guys can visit the all year long. The next is the Chocolate Pagoda. It is famous for the, the limestone rock and it, the visiting time is just 20 minutes and the best time to visit is the sunset. So you are let you suggest not to miss the sunset from one of the Pagoda platforms. So it's just five minutes right from the city center and the whole year your guests can visit. The other attraction site in Pan, let's see as the new place and new activity. So the first one is the boat ride in the water cave, which was discovered in 2000, 2018. So the boat trip is just 45 minutes and it is situated near the Big Gang Cave just 15 minutes drive from the Pan area, Pan town. The next activity is the kayaking near Crocodile Cave. The Crocodile area, there is also a Telugu Karen tribe village. So the, the, the villager, all of the villagers from that village stay wearing traditional dress. And also, they are, they are living by weaving. So your guests can visit and see that village and they can see the uh, typical current people lifestyle. For accommodation, so in Pan area, there are many options. So for the three-star hotel governor is suitable for the FINTN group. They are all together 56 rooms. It is situated in city center. The room rate is reasonable price and the location, location is the suitable for the guests who want to go out at night and who want to visit the town area at night. The next four-star option is the Kinara Pan. It is all my memories group. We recommend this hotel for the FIT, Lazary, and Mini Group. So they are all together in 19 Bangalore. It is situated based of the Mount Zogavin. The area is very quiet, green, and all the view is really nice. There is also a swimming pool. The other side of the Mount Zogavin is the Zogavin Valley. New hotel is four star option and is suitable for the FIT and group. It is new, newly opened hotel and they're all together 40 rooms. From the room, guests cannot see the Mount Sergevin, but from the Rain Tree Bar, your guests can enjoy the amazing view of the Mount Sergevin. There is also a big pool there and the view from this hotel is very green and a quiet place. And then I'd like to introduce the new hotel which will be open uh, in 2020 winter season. So the first one is the My Pan Resident. It is managed by the Amata Group suitable for the FITN group. They are all together at 20 Bangalore at the moment. They also have a plan to, to build new Bangalore. It is situated based off the Mount Zorgabin, near the Mai Pan resident. There is also a marvelous mountain hotel it is poster option and very new hotel. It is suitable for the FIT family, guest family, and also the honeymoon. There are 24 normal rooms and also the nine Bangalore. The three hotel, my parent resident, marvelous mountain, and Zagreb Valley are not very far from each other. Marvelous Mountain 
uh, Aman, uh, Amandis Three Hotter, Marvelous Mountain location is the best place because from the rooms, from every rooms, guests can enjoy the, the panoramic view of the, the great view of the Mount Zagadon. So we have a program, Southern Myanmar Sampler 5 day 4 night tour, which combine Pan, Malanyai, and Golden Rock. So our, our multi-day tour start from Yangon. The next destination, so we, uh, we can say uh, this destination is between the um, southern part of Myanmar and the Magui archipelago. It is Dawe. It's for that very long standing beach with very little tourism development or infrastructure. To get there, there is a flight, a right flight from Yangon and Kotan from Alanyai. It's eight hour drive. There are Christian Beach and hardly uh, uh, find any tourists. The water from the, the, that beach area is the crystal clear and most affordable than the Mafi in archipelago. We have four day, three night, the way and, and discover paradise too. So but I'd like to suggest you to, uh, to find our multi day tour. For accommodation in the way, we'd like to suggest golden guest house is the standard option in the way. We can use the less room as the first class option. It is the walking distance uh, to most decent restaurant in town. The next hotel we like to suggest is Hotel Dawe. It's a great superior option uh, and nice hotel. Uh, we inspected uh, outside of the, our pitfall destination. The rooms are great and standing pool and uh, step from the hotels are, they, they, they can speak English correctly. There is also a beautiful new Italian restaurant. After that way, I'd like to introduce the Marquis Archipelago. The first place near is the top of the Archipelago and then down bottom of the Archipelago. So these two de destinations are very special because of the very uh, Virgin Island, we can see as Virgin Island with uh, very few tourists and the, the beach are very standing, white, white sand beach. And your guests can do the lots of amazing activities like kayaking, snorkeling. From uh, Nick, uh, your guests can ex explore Nick, uh, the cheapest option. Uh, so from Nick, your guests can take the day trip uh, from the town. Uh, day trip from Yig and all, and overnight trip uh, from Yig. So that's the accommodation there, the Smet Island or Marcus Island, we just uh, available the 10th portion. Accommodation in the town of Yig is very busy, and the town is uh, not the, very interesting. The interesting side are just the island area. So for the, for the Kota region, there are two ways to explore the island from Kota. The first one is the multi day cruise. The second is the uh, overnight at the island resorts. Now I will introduce three island resorts. The first one is the Boulder Bay and Awe Pillar and Wailer. To visit the Magui Archipelago, your guests can take a daily flight from Yangon to Kota, but there is a less frequent flight between the Yangon and Yangon. 
from Thailand, uh, the, the, it is very easy to do border crossing from Renau by boat. Right? It takes only one hour. Uh, the boat from the uh, down, uh, leave from the jetty area in the morning. So if the guests arrive down lately uh, afternoon, so it is better to overnight caught down and the next day they can join the boat trip. So clients coming from the uh, Renault can cross the border in the morning. So in Kodam, uh, the Victoria Cliff Hotel is the only one best option. It is four-star category, altogether 70 room, uh, 28 meter, two suite and 40 rooms. So this hotel is uh, suitable for the FIT group and the honeymooners. It is situated uh, atop of a uh, rock bank, uh, Few kilometers outside of the Kotdam, and the service is nice. And the guests can enjoy the panorama view of the Andaman Sea. There are also two pool and also the private jetty. For the island resort, first I'd like to suggest is the Boda Bay Eco Resort. So it's three star option, it is suitable for the FIT, honeymooners, and family. It is situated in Boulder Island. The quality is nice. The price also reasonable price. It is 100% sustainable. So from Kotown, to get the Boulder Bay, your, your guests need to share boat transfer. It takes about five hours. So for those who, who doesn't want to take a share boat transfer. So the, there is also a, a speedboat that the hotel will charge supplement for that transfer. There are together 12, uh, uh, there are 12 standard Bangalore Garden U and seven superior CU and one Bangalore Suite CU. This resort, in this resort, so your guests can do trekking and diving. So I'd like to suggest one important thing is the, the flight uh, must arrive not later than the uh, 12 in order to ensure the boat transfer. So because uh, if they don't allow uh, taking boat trip at night. The next island resort I'd like to suggest is the Wale Island Resort. So it's the five star option. So it's to develop for the FIT and honeymoon. It is situated in Wale Island uh, of the Lampi Marine National Park. It is 100% sustainable hotter. The survey is really amazing. So to, to get that resort from Kota, so it's necessary to, to take private speedboat. It stay about two hours on Saturday and Tuesday. So apart from these two days, the, the guests who will uh, take a uh, transfer, they, they need to pay the supplement. At the moment, there are two types of room. Three three top builders and since standard beach builder. There are also the, the, the resort also building one beach house in this island. Your guests can take uh, activities such as massage, yoga, jenga trekking, diving, and kayaking. Uh, there is no swimming pool this resort and the uh, restaurant area is 10 minutes walk from the tenant beach pillar. The next resort I'd like to suggest is the Awe pillar. 
Sorry for the typing error. It is situated in Pillar Island. So this order is to deliver for the FID honeymooner and let's request. So transfer from Kotan is takes about three hours. There are two types of rooms, beach friend CU and second CV. As an activity, guests can enjoy the massage, yoga, trekking, and visiting the Morgan village, and also the kayaking. Same as the other hotel, it is necessary to arrive got down at least at four, uh, 2 p.m. And from right now, 12, in order to ensure the boat transfer from Kotan. Second option is the sailing in Makuyaki Binogo. We have three different options for the sailing. The first one is the Sea Gypsy. It is the uh, cheap option uh, for the uh, cheap cheapers and, uh, and also the visit option for the guests. That is five day for non itinerary and the, the cruise is a very, uh, very limited privacy uh, because uh, there are no real bedroom and two share bedroom for all guests. By taking this uh, sea gypsy sailing boat, so guests can do the lots of activities such as kayaking, snorkeling. So kindly note that there is no air condition in this cruise. So maximum capacity of uh, this sea gypsy is just only 10, 10 bucks. The next option I'd like to suggest middle class is the market princess. It, it is the city finance. Uh, so uh, itinerary, so it is not suitable. It is just the middle class, so it's not suitable for the the leisure class because uh, this boat is uh, to be compared from the the fishing boat, so change from the fishing boat. So by taking this boat, so guests can enjoy the kayaking and snorkeling activities. So maximum capacity of the, this boat is just 16 tons. For the lesser guests, I'd like to suggest is the Bama boating because they have several different boats. So they can offer four day, three night program, six day, five night program, and eight day, seven night itinerary. For the guests who want to take charter, it is also available. The boat, the selling boat are most luxurious and, and uh, the expensive option. So the rate start from the $500 per person per night. The Spama body boat are mainly focused on the sailing than the activities. So maximum capacity is from six to eight bags according to the different types of boat. So that's all for the southern part of presenting the southern part of Myanmar and Maki Archipelago. This is my first presenting uh, webinar experience. So if you have any questions or any clear points, please don't let me know and don't hesitate to contact me by email. So before I say goodbye, to, I'd like to share the current situation of Myanmar. Myanmar daily life is now largely back to normal and moving forward to be familiar with the new normal lifestyle in the COVID-19 period. So the situation and the information is changing day by day. So may I suggest you all to see our exit travel blog for update information. Thank you all of you joining and joining and participating in my webinar meetings.
Jesu Damare, thank you so much.